See, there's a crate right here. Crap. We'll, we'll move it to the side. So this this means it's a job for you. Hmm. There's no danger in here. I guess this is just an extra... Extra area. How am I supposed to get... Ah, okay, I gotcha. I almost had a dirt moment where I didn't realize what I was supposed to do. Okay, go ahead and go get it now. Although, to be fair, Barry, you could have just reached up and gotten it. It's not that high. Come on, Talia. I don't have to wait for you. Keep it down. We don't know what's coming up. Empty bottle. Alcohol. Create sub-weapons by combining empty balls with various resource items. This is a lot like The Last of Us. Like, I think you can tell pretty easily that that's where they got inspiration here. I mean, okay, let's see. Empty bottle combined with alcohol makes a firebomb bottle. Okay. So what, what does the cloth do? Oh, you can combine with an herb for a tourniquet or an alcohol for disinfectant. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool. There's a workbench here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, quick load level one, damage level one. I think we definitely need to add damage level one to the assault rifle. It is not good. And uh, let's do quick load on the samurai edge. Ooh, look, a tourniquet, uh, two tourniquets. Just in case we bleed. Now we're talking. You know, I guess we couldn't go over the bridge, although I didn't even try. Okay. I, they just load us up with stuff, so I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of those things here. Just having difficulty. Like, there's something slightly creepy about this little girl, but she's awesome. Ooh. I'd like to pass that on to ya. Wait, what will you do with the gunpowder? Oh, you can create an explosive, but from what I saw the firebomb bottle, that stuff is pretty great. The radio tower's just ahead. I realize this, but you don't think there's gonna be some resistance along the way? Come on, Barry. Come on, buddy. You know better than that. Shh. Let me go get this brick real quick. That rhymes. I guess I don't need to walk everywhere like that. Ooh, look. Topaz. Barry. Great. Huh. We're gonna have to smash through the gate. Crap. There's more over there. Oh no. Ah! 
Ah! Not cool. Talia, you need to follow me, buddy. Come on. He's fast! Wow, I sucked it up there. Let's retry. Looks like we can go in here. Ooh. Bad guys in here. Okay. Here you go, bud. You can take care of this guy. He's turning around, though, so we gotta wait. Come on, keep going that way. Good job. Alright. Alright, we did it. That's another one, right? I need you to show me where he is. Just beyond that door, huh? I don't like it. Hmm. Maybe you can do it, bud. Good job. Is he dead? He looks dead. Okay, good. That was easy, I guess. We just shot whatever he was carrying in his hand right there. You see any glinties here? Huh? Huh? Alright, well I saw some items back here, so we're gonna go check those out. Handgun ammo. Anything else? Not really anything else. Okay. Yep, not really anything else, so... Let me just go out here now. There's a brick. What? Maybe not. Oh, I guess it's outside or something. Ooh, this place is pretty big. Yeah, this is where we were, okay. See anything? Yeah, of course you do. Magnum ammo, that's very important. Let me have that, please. Thank you so much. Thank you for that, too. So, th these are the crane controls, right? So, we don't even have to, like, use the... the door. We can just start over here, right? Oh, no power. I Damn it. see. There's a power source. Well, it's clearly wherever this gigantic cable goes. So, I guess we'll head that way. Come on, Natalia, try to keep up. I'm not actually that fast. <laughs> Cruising around at the speed of sound. It looks like it's this way. Okay, so we've got to go in there anyway. Alright, I'll have my firebomb ready this time. We got to trigger him. We're gonna have to smash through the gate. Yeah, we are. Crap. What? They didn't get him! Ridiculous! Completely ridiculous! There we go. Okay. Come here. Did we get, did we get all three of them? Nope, not yet. Come on, come on! It takes you too long to reload, dude. Where we got it? No, come on. 
Don't stay away from her. Oh. Crap, crap, crap. Natalia. Natalia. You had a brick. You could have gotten him. That's all right. She was not concerned about me at all. Did you see her? She was just hanging out. Uh, we got to start using the handgun a little bit more. I, I went a little crazy with the assault weapon there. Assault rifle, I should say. There's no such thing as an assault weapon. Another f Thank you for replenishing... What's all this? What's all this music about? So you just you shoot the fatty parts until you uncover their heart, and then you take that out. I see. So do they just they're just gonna keep coming? Probably, right? Well, let's go ahead and uh, get moving, shall we? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it looks like they are. Let's go ahead and get in here then. Come on, Natalia. What are you doing out there? That should get the crane working. Here we go. There's sure gonna be a bunch of them now, right? Wow, he just. He just. Come on, hurry. Okay. I was waiting for the Master of Unlocking joke. And I was not failed. Thank you so much, Barry, for existing. Oh, man. When I started playing this game, I was like... <laughs> Fuck. No, Natalia. It's okay, I got him. When I started playing this game, I was like, there's going to be a player sandwich reference and a master of unlocking reference. Somewhere. There's too many of them. Come on, let's get out of here. Fuck. Okay. All right. So there's a bunch. Oh, get him. Okay, let's go. This way. Oh no! You all right? Fine. Could have gone through it a lot faster than I did. I know. I, I realize I took it slow. I took a took a good portion of Barry's section pretty slow, but. It was kind of more fun that way. <laughs> it's not really meant to be played in a guns blazing kind of way. It's meant to be uh, played more stealthily, so... I tried to... try to do it that way. Head for the tower. Thank well, God. That was a really long way around. It was. It was, indeed. Before we go in, let's look for glinties! Ha <laughs> uh. Do your job, Natalia. Okay. Well, we didn't find any as Moira, so why would we find any as her? Maybe she's more perceptive than Moira, which wouldn't be difficult. Wouldn't be that hard. Oh, I see. We can't use the bridge at all. Skipped out on that little tidbit. I just went straight for the shed last time. All right, excuse me. Let's do this. Oh look, you got your workbench here. No, no new uh, custom parts though. Eh? This is where they were. Where are they now? Could be anywhere. That's her. That's my baby. Any luck in there, Mara? No! Piece of shit must be busted. Alright, then let's head over to the Vosic. Fucking tell 
You can say that again. This was logged six months ago. What? Jesus, Moira. Your daughter's name is... Moira? Yeah. Why? <sighs> hey, kid. You okay? Moira. She's dead. What? Uh, what? That can't be the end of episode one. Come on. Come Next on. Revelations 2. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. I need you to take me there. Can you do that? But if we've been infected with something... I promise I'll catch up. Is this the place? The blasted? Don't be scared. Oh, you finally came, huh? We are this motherfucking island! Hmm. <laughs> Looks like next episode's gonna be a little more action-packed. Alright, well, I guess that was episode one. Next episode is called Contemplation. It comes out March 3rd, so on March 3rd, uh, look for that in your sub box. Here on YouTube because I'm totally gonna be playing it all right so here are my thoughts on the episode I really liked it actually I really I thought it was really solid especially Barry's half Claire's half was okay but I just don't like Moira I just don't like her I mean it wasn't just the dialogue it wasn't just the oh my gods you know in the the strange reactions that she had and like the dramatic little stress call like it wasn't I just don't like her as a character meanwhile I mean Claire's kind of generic but okay I like Barry's you know stereotypical protective uh, Joel from the last of us type and I feel like Natalia probably has something interesting about her as well um, I think her bracelet was red I didn't really get a good look at it. I thought that she didn't have a bracelet, but then in some of those last scenes I was looking at it. Uh, I guess I forgot to say anything about it. But yeah, so I think that means that she's mutated. I think the note said something about like shooting those guys on sight uh, if, they, if their bracelet turns red. So that means that she's been there for a while. And I don't really know what her mutation is. She seems fine enough, but... I still think something something funny is going on with her, and uh, one thing, one other thing that I noticed is that Barry, when he was talking, when he was on the boat, he said, uh, "Oh no, when he when he got to shore and he met Natalia, and he was saying, uh, he said uh, she got you just like she got my baby, so he knows who's behind this. At least that's what it implies, right? Um, which is interesting because I don't know. It, it, I wonder if it's a character we're familiar with." But I don't know, we don't know what Barry's been up to since the original Resident Evil. So, I'm not really sure, <laughs> that, like there's a there's a giant blank that we have no idea what it is. So, it might be a character that we're not familiar with, you know. But overall, I liked it. I think, um, I think it's better than the first game. Better than Resident Evil Revelations 1. In fact, I think this is the most fun I've had playing Resident Evil solo. Uh, like serious fun at least not just like let's laugh at it fun uh, since RE4 honestly because like I think this is better than Resident Evil 5 and 6 easily there's more of a focus on uh, subtlety which is something that Resident Evil has lacked for a long time there's more of an emphasis on atmosphere and action has taken a back seat at least so far in episode 1 now I see helicopters in, that, in episode 2 which kind of worries me but uh, you know, I, I kind of talked a little bit of shit at first because I thought, you know, well, not only is it episodic, but it has all this DLC. It's, it's it, everything reeks of cash grab, you know, and uh, and then they say they announced there's no cop for PC version. So I got really defensive right off the bat, but I, I unexpectedly really liked this. I think it's definitely a step in the right direction, and this is... This is better than the past several Resident Evil releases, in my opinion. 
And it's hard to make a conclusion, or it's, it's, it's hard to conclude anything yet because this is only episode one of four. But I'll definitely be playing the remaining episodes. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like if you enjoyed this video series. And uh, it helps a lot in the search results uh, show up higher and things like that. That's what likes do. And comments as well. But I actually like legitimately want to hear what you guys think about this game. Because uh, I really liked it. And uh, I was just wondering. Oh, okay. It just says end of episode one. I got a B. I got an, also got an achievement called Three Women and a Berry. I unlocked Countdown Episode 1, Invisible Episode 1, Claire Figurine, Berry Figurine, Record Achieve, Inquisitive. So why do I have a B? Oh, it's because clear time. Come on. Like, accuracy's good. Retries are good. And the only reason I even had that retry is because I just happened to be on the outer edge of that flamethrower. God, I, I'm still bitter about that. Let's take a look at the skill settings, though. So, like, we got this tree. I don't even know. Are you see What? What? You have to unlock the ability for AI, Claire, and Barry to use their weapons. Well, guess what I'm getting immediately? That. I'm getting that. Why would you not? Firepower will be low. It will not affect ammo reserves. That's a great upgrade. Oh, man, that's a great upgrade. Yeah, I'm out of BP, but it was totally worth it. Why is that an upgrade? <laughs> oh, man, okay. Little silly things like that aside, I still really enjoyed the episode. So I hope you guys like the series, and I'll see you in episode two. Think critically.